it's fairly safe to say without arguments that Street Fighter V launched in a bit of a mess, with missing key single player focused modes, a proper tutorial, and a few other bits as well. And now Yoshinori Ono, who is of course the producer of Street Fighter, has talked about these launch issues, admitting that the game failed to satisfy those who enjoy the single player aspect of Street Fighter and of course fighting games in general. Now, he said in an interview with Game Informer, quote, I think it's safe to say that we understand the popularity of some of the single player features. That said, we are excited about the two all new single player modes, Character Story and Survival, and we have planned to continue to refine and expand onto those experiences. Now, naturally, as we all know at this point, the game was fairly bare bones when it came out. The story mode was nothing short of a joke. It launched without an arcade mode or character combo trials. And as I said, it didn't even have a proper tutorial, didn't explain even the new mechanics, which obviously left even familiar Street Fighter players a little bit puzzled at the start. Now, this led to many speculations basically saying that Capcom was releasing what was essentially the eSports edition or the Capcom Pro Tour edition and that the reason they released it so soon in such a, shall we say, sorry state in terms of missing features is so that the pro players could start practicing in time for not only EVO but the Pro Tour. Now, Ono said, quote, The Capcom Pro Tour wasn't the only reason for why the game was released when it was. We understand that if we had more features ready at launch, it probably would have been better received by some more casual fans who tend to enjoy Street Fighter more via single player content as opposed to competitive play. So he basically said that, yes, Capcom Pro Tour was a reason, but it wasn't the only reason, but sadly did not deign to tell us what those other reasons were. Now, of course, another one of the problems that is still a little bit of a thorn in the side of people playing Street Fighter, apologies for the strange noise my PC decided to make, is that there's a lack of punishment for rage quitters. Now, Ono has said that Capcom is on the case, but there is sadly no time frame for this much needed and much requested feature. Now, he said, quote, We are putting in a lot of effort to smooth out the server problems and address issues such as raid quitters, which is affecting players' online experience. Once we are able to implement all the fixes we have in store, I'm confident fans will enjoy the online experience that much more. Now, to be honest, it does kind of boggle my mind that they underestimated the, pos the popularity of these single player features, considering that single player has been a staple of Street Fighter for literally years. And of course, it's been a thing in fighting games for literally years as well. And expecting a single player arcade mode and a few other things, as well as a proper tutorial, given that Skullgirls, an indie fighting game, mentioned it, it's not an unfair expectation. So, to be honest, that comment from Ono does make Capcom look rather out of touch, given that it's pretty obvious that people weren't going to be impressed at that the game released with several missing features and basically seemed to be the pro player or esports edition for those wanting to practice for Pro Tour. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people have said from the beginning. If they'd labelled it saying, hey, this is the eSports edition or tournament edition or whatever they wanted to call it, it's, I don't know, $20 or whatever price they wanted to give and you can upgrade to the full version if you want later. If they'd fully labelled it as to what it was, I don't think the half the backlash would have happened because people would have been aware like, oh, okay, so it's missing this, 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 and this. Okay, cool, I'll wait then. But of course, people bought it, and here we are. So, yeah. Take a look at the full interview over at Game Informer. There is a bit more that Ono did have to say for himself, so if you're interested, take a look. But to be honest, I don't find his answer all that satisfying, and hopefully we'll get those missing features added soon. Let me know your thoughts on Yoshinori's comments. I myself am um, not impressed. I'm waiting until it's actually a complete product before I buy it myself, so... And I'm sure many people are in the same position as me. You know, I have no desire to get into Evo. I have no illusions to the fact that I'm terrible at Street Fighter, but I, I want to play it. But I want to play it... properly. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time.